myself Shujit Mondol, lecturer in mathematics, Darjeeling Polytechnic. Here we discuss unit 6 of your syllabus that is solution of ordinary differential equation. And in this chapter, there are three methods to solve a first order differential equation, which are Euler's method, modified Euler's method, and Runge-Kutta method. So, first of all, we discuss the theory of Euler's method. How to solve a first order differential equation by Euler's method? So, we consider the solution of first order differential equation dy dx equal to f of xy with initial condition y of x0 equal to y0. Suppose we wish to approximate this solution to the initial value problem at x equal to x1 equal to x0 plus h where h is small. The equation of the tangent line through x0 y0 is y of x equal to y0 plus m into x minus x0 where m is the slope of the curve at x0 y0 from the given equation we can get m equal to f of x0 y0 so y of x equal to y0 plus f of x0 y0 into x minus x0 now if we setting x equal to x1 in this equation yields the Euler's approximation to the exact solution at x1 namely y1 equal to y0 plus f of x0 y0 into x1 minus x0 which we can write as y1 equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 y0. Now suppose we wish to obtain an approximation to the exact solution to the given initial value problem at x2 equal to x1 plus h. We can use the same idea except we now use the tangent line to the solution curve through x1 y1. The slope of this tangent line is f of x1 y1 so that the equation of the required tangent line is y of x equal to y1 plus f of x1 y1 into x minus x1. Now setting x equal to x2 yields the approximation y2 equal to y1 plus h f of x1 y1 where we have submitted for x2 minus x1 equal to h to the solution to the initial value problem at x equal to x2 and continuing in this manner we determine the sequence of approximation y n plus 1 equal to y n plus h f of x n y n where n equal to 0 1 dot 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 to the solution of the given initial value problem at the point x n plus 1 equal to x n plus h. So, in summary Euler's method for approximating the solution to the initial value problem y equal to f of xy, y of x0 equal to y0 at the point x n plus 1 equal to x0 plus n h where n equal to 0 1 dot dot is y n plus 1 equal to y n plus h f of x n y n n equal to 0 1. So, this is the main formula for our Euler's method which is y n plus 1 equal to y n plus h f of x n comma y n where n equal to 0 1 dot dot dot. Now, we try to solve a numerical problem. We try to solve a differential equation using Euler's method. Solve by Euler's method the following differential equation for x equal to 1 by taking h equal to 0 0.2 dy dx equal to xy y equal to 1 when x equal to 0. That is the initial condition is x equal to 0 and y equal to 1 and we have to find the value for x equal to 1. So, now apply Euler's method. Successive approximation of Euler's method with h equal to 0 0.2 gives the formula y of x1 equal to y0 plus h x0 y0 which is the formula of Euler's method. Here the initial condition x is 0 and y equal to 1. So, x0 equal to 0 and y0 equal to 1. So, now we put now here h equal to 0 0.2. So, we put y of 0 0.2 in this equation 
we get the value equal to 1 and similarly we get the value of y point y of 0 0.4 which we get 1.04 now similarly we find y of 0 0.6 y of 0 0.8 and lastly y of 1.0 which they told to find and the value is 1.4593 so thus we can solve any differential equation using Euler's method first order differential equation now we discuss about modified Euler's method. Euler's modified can be mo Euler's method can be modified to get moderate accuracy then quickly. The modification is made by computing the derivative y dash equal to f of x y at x n comma y n as the mean of f of x n y n and f of x n plus one y n plus one zero where y n plus 1 0 equal to y n plus h f of x n y n. So, the ultimate result is y n plus 1 1 equal to y n plus h by 2 f of x n y n plus f of x n plus 1 y n plus 1 0. So, this is the main result of Euler's modified result. And when this approximate this iteration are continued until to successive approximations y k plus 1 i and y k plus 1 i plus 1 coincide to the desired accuracy. Now we try to solve a differential equation using Euler's modified method. The initial condition is y of 0 equal to 1 that is when x equal to 0 y equal to 1. So first of all we use the formula y10 equal to y0 plus h f of x0 y0. So, we put this value here y0 equal to 1, we put this value 1, here h equal to they give 0 0.01 and f of x0 y0 equal to 1, we put we get the result 1.01. So, that is f of x1 y10 we get this result 1.010. So, y11 we get similarly using Euler's modified result 1.01005 and f of x1 y11 is 1.01015 and similarly we find y12 and we get 1.01005. So, now if we uh, see y11 and y12 that is this result and this result we get they are a Six significant figure they are same up to six significant figure they are same so this is our result and the result is 1.01005 okay so this is a differential equation how to solve using Euler's modified method now we discuss about Rungi Kutta method for this we take a initial value problem dy dx equal to f of xy with initial condition y of x0 equal to y0. And the formula for this solution is yn plus 1 equal to yn plus 1 by 6 k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 plus order of h to the power 5. Where we define k1, k2, k3, k4 in this manner. You can see it in this manner we define k1, k2, k3 and k4. So now we try to solve a first order differential equation using Rungi Kutta method. Here dy dx equal to x square plus y square and y of 1 equal to 0. That is initial condition is when x equal to 1, y equal to 0. So here f of x y equal to x square plus y square, x not equal to 1, y not equal to 0 and h equal to 0 0.1 which we can assume. So, first of all, we find k1, the formula is h f of x0 y0, we put this value and we get 0 0.1. And second is k2, we, this is the formula of k2, we put the value, all this value and calculate this, we get the result of k2 that is 0 0.1105. Now, we find the value of k3 which is h, the formula is h f of x0 plus h by 2 y0 plus k2 by 2. We put all this value and ultimately we get the result of k3 that is 0 0.11055. And lastly we find k4. This is the formula of k4. 
and we get the result 0 0.1 triple pi to double 2. So now we put all these four values that is k1, k2, k3 and k4 in y 1.1. So we get our ultimate result which is 0 0.11072. So in this manner we can solve a first order differential equation using Rungi Kutta method. Here is a three questions. One is from Euler's method, one is modified Euler's and one is Rungi Kutta method to solve by you and this is this you can make a home task for you okay and lastly thank you everyone